this is Sophie and today I would like to show you how to paint pretty flowers to this existing butterfly face painting. Now if you first want to learn how to paint this butterfly, just go ahead and click on the link that you see appearing right now on your screen. Otherwise, let's move on to the flowers. The butterfly with flowers is the girl's most requested face painting design that I have on my board. But to paint it, I need some space in the middle of the face and therefore I am right now getting rid of the actual body of the butterfly. I am using a wet wipe and as you can see, the color comes off really easily. To paint the flower petals, I will use a technique called the double loading. I am using a um, small filbert brush that I am loading with a lot of white paint, making sure that both sides of the brush are well loaded. The consistency of the paint should be creamy rather than too wet. Without wasting any time, I now take my secondary color, which is a dark burgundy color, and I load only the very tip of the brush, going back and forth in a horizontal way until um, the tip of my brush is well loaded on both sides. Now creating the petals is not very difficult, but it does take a little bit of practice. I lay the brush flat on the skin to create the first petal and lift it up pretty quickly. I then create the other petals working in a circular way. Using the same technique, I then add two individual petals going upwards on one side of the butterfly wing and one single petal on top of these two and then I do the same thing on the other side. And I continue at the corner of each eye, placing two petals on each side. As you can see, if you loaded your filbert brush with a lot of paint, you will not need to uh, reload the brush uh, with more paint to create all these petals and even more if you wanted to. Next step, I am using a small round brush, number three, that I loaded with the color green and I am adding some small um, leaves on the side of the flowers, just randomly wherever I think a little bit of green would look nice. I'm just flicking my brush uh, quickly to create these tiny leaves. I now took the color yellow on my small round brush and I'm adding a few small dots at the center of the central flower, but also along the petals that I created earlier just to add a little bit of interest and also some contrast with the other colors that I used earlier. I then uh, cleaned my small round brush and while it was still wet, I dipped the bristles in green glitter. Unfortunately, my camera is not really focusing on it. I love glitter, but I am not a big fan of putting glitter all over uh, flowers um, because I think it takes a lot away from the small details. That's why I prefer to add glitter specifically only on small areas and in this case that's why I am dipping my brush each time into a small pot of green glitter and applying this glitter specifically only on the leaves. As long as the green paint is still a little bit wet, the glitter will hold on it and it will create a really nice sparkly effect. And this design is now finished. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye!